everybody, welcome back to another super scary video I have for you today. Something that is going to scare the socks straight off your feet, the pants straight off your legs, the shirt straight off your back, the hat straight off your head. And yes, I know you're in a friend hat, but I know, um, you, I'm talking to you, person, that you are wearing a hat, so, can't lie. Um, as you can see, this very scary creature of sorts, whatever thou name shall that be, is going to be the topic for today's video, and uh, I've discovered her a while ago. We actually reacted to a few of her videos. Um, it's not exactly clear if it is a she, but uh, I'm just going to call it it's a she, because uh, it seems to be... Um, a girl. Who knows, because, um, very freaky. Can't, can't really tell anymore with, um, her. Um, now you may be wondering, who is her? Who is she? Well, this person is that vegan teacher, and yes, guys, she's back. We're back with her. Um, one of the scariest topics I've ever done, if not the scariest topic I've ever done on this channel. Um, her face just gives me shivers down my spine. Um, I think I might go with her for Halloween next year. I haven't done Halloween in like two years, but you know what? Brand new costume. Dress up as a carrot or something. Um, but yeah, so... Ugh. Ugh. Don't mean to be too mean to it. Just can't. What are these glasses, by the way? Um, no, stop. Um, they're very colorful. They look very, very like a sheepskin. Dyed sheepskin. Very nice. Hey, everyone! I am here at home in front of my green screen, and I just wanted to tell you a story that happened because I think you might be interested in it. I think it's kind of funny. It's kind of sad, kind of funny, kind of weird. Anyway, here's the bottom line the police came. To my house with let's actually go um it's about time that they do this uh, i've been waiting forever for them to arrest her oh it's about time i don't know why she's in a prison cell with a green screen but that's pretty the weird letter and left her it new I home when they came and it said something like oh i should get it i don't have it here but anyway it said basically somebody says that they saw you driving while making a TikTok video and that is against the law. And you should be careful. Don't do that again. This is a warning. So I hope. I'm. Why did they give her that warning? For all we know, she could have gotten into a car accident. And that would have been so bad, guys. So, actually, it's a good thing they gave her that warning. Because now I have more content to make. So, so I said to my husband, at least good. What? When did I ever do that? And he said, you don't do that. You are in the passenger seat when I'm driving. And I said, that's what I think too. But let's check. So we went to check through all the videos in case there was some weird misunderstanding. And, you know, then we realized what it was. What had happened is that the person thought that I was driving, but I wasn't. I was in the passenger seat. And so, um, it looks like I'm driving because on TikTok and Instagram, have you guys ever seen it? How sometimes in the background, things are backwards. You know, the writing is backwards. Maybe you've seen it. Sometimes somebody's wearing a shirt like this. It says something, but it, all the words are backwards. So probably the person thought that I was driving and holding the phone at the same time. But the reality is that I was actually in the passenger seat. But if they saw you in real life, it wouldn't be reversed. Now would it? You silly person. It looks like the seatbelt is across a different shoulder. And um, that's actually in the video. In that series, if you go back and look at it, it's, I think I did that at the end of February. Trust me, I'm not going to. Um, I've done actually quite a few different videos from, from the car. Because I like to use my time efficiently, because I work 18 hours a day on this channel, researching, making videos, TikTok. Yeah, that's the other thing, is you spend way too much time on your... You, sp you say 18 hours on this channel, so you get six hours of sleep. Plus, you don't eat meat? How unhealthy could you be? You silly person. 
you know, Instagram, all of it, that when I'm driving somewhere, I think, okay, this is the perfect time for me to answer some questions. But yeah, that's the other thing. She makes, like, ten videos a day. Like, if I want to, my entire channel could be based just on her. But I'm not going to do that. I like other stuff other than this thing that is her. And or respond to comments. So that's, I think, that is probably what happened. So I, when I got the thing, I thought, okay, well, this is somebody who's really desperate to try to get me off social media. Many of you guys Trust know me. that. It <laughs> we are. Not so much, not so much me, because I needed the kind. Ever since I came on social media and started talking about the meat, dairy, and egg industries, people have been trying so hard to get me off. And you know, they managed to get me off TikTok by just spreading all kinds of lies about me. And um, you know, they're gonna keep trying. But hey, I'm just here on this planet doing the best that I can. I'm on social media for one reason only: to try to get you guys to think about your choices. To try to think about not buying dairy, not uh, buying never eggs, think not about buying my meat, choices. not wearing fur and feathers and all these things. And that's all I can do. I'm just like one person. I'm just like a normal person living in suburbia, trying to do my part to undo the damage that I did in the past. So anyway, I decided to call the police and I said, um, listen. Wait. 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 One small, insignificant, little, tiny millisecond. A lot of weight. Just like a normal person living in suburbia, trying to do my part under the damage that I did in the past. And that damage would be eating meat, correct? Right? Correct, Mundo? Am I correct? I think I am. Didn't you say in one of your videos that you were born vegan? I could have sworn you did. I I am positive you did. I I know you did. Whether it be one I reacted to or just another one I've seen, I could she I've heard her. I can picture it. She said I was always born vegan. I've been a vegan ever since I was a kid. I was born vegan. I've never eaten meat. So, do you lie? That vegan teacher? Did you lie? Did you lie about eating meat? Did you lie about always being vegan? I think you did. You little liar! How dare thou? So anyway, I decided to call the police, and I said, um. Oh, call the police on yourself? Yes, please, please. Listen, I, I, I think I know what happened, um, and I, I explained to the guy, and, uh, and he said, um. Oh, God, he said, yes, I totally understand. He said, uh, that happened to my friend because she got married. It was a she or he. Anyway, so one of them got married and had the ring on their left hand, but then was doing videos and it was on the right hand and said, you can't be married because your ring's on the wrong hand. And the person had to explain, um, it's because TikTok and Instagram reverse things. And so, yes, I am actually married. So that's what that's what the person said. So so this guy, the police officer who, who I later told me he was his name was. <laughs> Julien. He said, oh, I totally get it. His name was <coughs> Julien. Julien? Julien. He goes, you know, I think I know you. I think I've heard about you. He said, are you that vegan teacher? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, I said, what have you heard about me? And he said, no, no, only good things. He said, I know you care passionately about the animals. That's all. That's all I read. He says, I can't even think about the animals. He said, if I think about them, I just get really sad. Mm, sure. Is that really what he said, lady? You, you, you vegan teacher, is that really what he said? Are you telling the truth? Because you're going to be lying again. Well, I'll never know, I guess. And I said, well, Julien, just like, let me just ask you a question. I said, if you, if you don't mind, how old are you? And he said, uh, 32. I said, okay, so you're my daughter's age. So... I said, you, you have a daughter? Oh my gosh! That can't be good! That don't can't be this. right! But did you know? Maybe you know, I said, I don't know, but we lie. I used to be a teacher, so we, you know, we, we, people don't tell the truth to kids about the meat, dairy, and egg industries, and they really should. And that's part of the reason that I quit teaching. But anyway, I said, do you know... Trust me, I know all the facts about the meat and dairy industry. I could go on for hours talking about how much I love my quarter pound cheeseburger from McDonald's and how it was made right here in this beautiful country 
of burgers and fries, and I can tell you all about that cheese and how it was curdled, and everything about that. I trust me, big and teacher, I could go on. I could make you cry with the stuff I know. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this accent, but who really cares? That in order to Ooh, give nobody cares young, anymore. cows have to be pregnant. He said, Yeah. Oh. He said, I never thought about that. He said, Yeah, I guess you're right. He said, I just thought they just naturally give milk and we, it's for us. And I said, Well, that's a lot of people think that because the, the dairy industry tries to tell you that this is this natural, wonderful thing. And in fact, it's not. It's absolutely but... horrific what we do to cows. So I explained to him that the baby cows are taken away if they're boys and they are murdered. And he said, oh, because they'll never be able to give milk, right? I'm like, yeah. He says, oh, shoot. Let's go. I, I said, and do you know about the baby chicks? And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, the baby chicks are also, you know, they go down this big assembly line and there's like thousands of them and they're super cute and they're just little and yellow baby innocent chicks. And then they check and if they're male, then they take them down a separate conveyor belt and they murder them they macerate them they cut them into a million Let's people go, and pieces and bro. he said what I, he said why and i said because in that industry those chickens will not be able to lay eggs the boys and so they're considered to be useless and so they're murdered let's go and he says, oh my god i never thought of it that way i didn't know said i know isn't it crazy like how many adults don't even know this stuff and you would what think what the frick is an adult when did we ever start pronouncing things differently like that? It was always adult. Or adult. Adult. Not adult. What's, what's an adult? Ooh, I saw an adult. Look, boy, I got an adult. You got a crayon? I got an adult. You got a sweatshirt? I got an adult. When I was trying to talk about these things in school, I was told, I don't talk about that. You know, parents don't want the kids to know the truth. And I said, why not? I mean, being vegan is so healthy for you. And it's but you're skinnier than me. And I'm pretty skinny. Sort of. You're super skinny. Whenever you wear a tank top, it That's looks for like the environment, you also got the burned. Footprint to reduce it. See your bones. For the animals, like it, everybody wins when people become vegan. Nobody loses. And so the the police officer well said said, well, you know, thank you, thanks for letting me know all this. I, I never really thought about it. And I said, well, thanks for being open and thanks for being so sweet. I said, you guys are always sweet to us. And I, I said to him, look, maybe if you check the record, you'll see that I had other complaints in there because people sometimes throw meat at my house. And he goes, why do they do that? I said, because they're trying to get me to stop talking about the animals. And they're trying to... Let's go. I want to join the meat gang. I want to join that, that, join that gang. Where do you live, by the way? Don't you live in like um, Chicago, New Jersey, somewhere like that? Maybe I think of someone else. Probably am, to be honest. But I'd love to join that little game there. Every morning, 8 a.m., we throw some quarter-pound cheeseburgers from McDonald's at your house with a fully written essay on how they're made. Oh, be mean. Beautiful. And he said, "Well, it's not right." And then I told him about the times that that the police officers were so great. They came to the house, and uh, there were people hassling us, and so they drove down Happy Pet Path, which is the path like near my house. It's a bike path, and they, they like hid there in their car, and they knew that these kids, these uh, people were coming. There was like a gang of people. And, yeah, I want to join that gang. Please and, um, accept me. He, he then, they, they were trying to get away, and then there's another police officer. Anyway, they cornered them, and they turned on the lights, and the kids were like, wah! These were like teenagers, all of them on, on bikes, and they were they were like trying to... What do you think? They were growing Adults? What do you, you? Of course, they're teenagers. She Bella oh, or something shoot. like that because they were trying to make sure that she she had a good life because you know over fifty thousand people signed a petition saying that they Bella is being mistreated and the police officer goes yeah I, I actually that's ridiculous I said she's perfectly healthy and every police officer who's ever come to our house I'd said, like to see how Bella skinny Bella is great. that's her dog and every police officer has been really nice or is that her daughter next to her house. Like I said, they tried to steal my dog, and one time they lied and said that I had killed somebody. A bunch of you, millions of people, think that I'm in jail because these rumors go around. And, you know, I'm just here. I'm not on TikTok with my two million followers, so I can't tell the truth anymore. So people can spread all the lies that they want to, and I am just here doing my little thing, and that's all I can do in life. So I guess the moral of the story is... Keep on being an amazing animal rights activist if you're vegan. But what if I'm not and don't one? Don't let people get you down. They will try to lie. They will try to get you down. They'll do everything possible. But in the end, 
most people, when they know what happens to the animals, they feel bad and they just don't have the courage to stand up against society. Like you guys do, you vegans, you guys are amazing. And you know, if I can do it, if I can become vegan after eating animals and, and drinking milk and all that stuff for so many years, you guys can absolutely do it too. So don't but I don't really and, want you know, to. Sometimes people say defund the police and that they don't like the police, but and, and I understand not all police officers are especially in a good mood all the time, And but who can blame them? They deal with so much shit. But like my you. experience with the police officers in general has been that when they understand what's going on, they are quite compassionate, they're quite nice, and they are open to the vegan message. And they even tell me things on the side like that they're eating burgers or that their wife is vegan and that they're trying to be vegan. So I think... To those cops that are eating burgers, yeah, W for you. General, you're, you know, we're trying you're to real move chat. in the right yeah, direction. Yeah. And um, yeah. that's, that's my story for today. And uh, by the way, I'm drinking out of this mug. Eat like veggies, mug. not us. Um, well, actually... Um, I'm gonna eat that mother chicken right there, that little hen, and you're gonna be uh, in a stew someday. Eat veggies, not us. If you like this mug and you think about the little baby chicks there, and how you wouldn't want them put into a blender. Just oh, I do. Give me some chicken nuggets. Chicken and nuggets. you can also, if you want, you can buy this mug. It's down in the merch below. I have four of them. Oh, uh, yes, let me There's buy this one. a mug. One with a cow. I, sh um, I should have brought them, but they're in the kitchen. There's one with a cow. There's one with a... Uh, lamb it reminds people not to wear wool and not to cut the legs off of lambs and eat them and also there is one about pigs and not to re to remind you not to eat bacon so if you love animals but bacon's you delicious you getting these or get them for a friend and you know it's a gift that lasts a long time it's not one of those throwaway things you just treat it well and it will last a hundred years there's no reason for this to just it's not going to start disintegrating Right. One day when I start doing vlogs, I'm going to buy everything in the vegan teacher's shop. And I'm going to literally burn it all. And I'm going to do so many cool things with it. I'm going to light it on fire. I'm going to make a bonfire out of all the shirts. And I'm going to smash the mugs into it. And it's going to be like a big class party with fire and gas. And it's going to be really cool. And that won't be for a long time, though. So keep making your stuff because I'm going to need it. Don't bang it around. You know, stock up and put some on shopping list yeah, and you can give it to anybody that you love who loves animals it makes a great gift anyway that's it so if you have any comments to make let me know if there's oh, anything that oh trust me i could have some very very strange comments on you lady um when some talk, very not nice comments i read your guys comments when i can i can't always read them all but um, and coming up on screen, I actually I'm gonna move over here. Coming up on screen around me are gonna be a bunch of other videos. So please click on them, like this video if you like it. If you want to see more about my life or hear more about my ideas or watch me talking about other vegans who are great and, and terrible animal abusers as well, then this is a channel for you. Come and help me get the animals out of hell. No. So click on any of the videos, and I will see you guys all. Yeah, I'm hoping get by hell, but they have to go through hell first just to go into my stomach. In the next so. video, so I hope you guys do well. Don't forget to give yourselves a big hug because you absolutely. Oh yes, I need a big hug after this hard, video. You deserve a oh, hug. Oh damn. Be nice. I know you guys are in your hearts. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> dodge it! Dodge it! Dodge it! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, I dodged it, guys. I dodged it. I dodged the kiss. I got it. Okay, it's over there on the ground off the vacuum that scrub the floors later. Um, don't ever do that to me again. Uh, I will go all Will Smith on you if I want to. But, um, yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this very scary video. Um, I know you guys probably got spooked so much. Um, I'm glad to be back on the channel. Glad to be making videos for you guys. Hope you guys do enjoy them. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the share button. Uh, help me get to 50 followers by the end this year, which I think we could do very easily. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, make sure you go check out that vegan teacher. Um, put some dislikes on every single one of her videos. And yeah, I'll be uh, here tomorrow for another terrifying Tuesday. Hope you guys will join me. Make sure you grab some snacks and some drinks. 
and I will see you guys then. So again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.